everybody. It is exactly three weeks today till Dad and I go on our Everest Base Camp trek. And I thought it was a good time for me to lay out all the clothes I intend to take and do sort of an Everest Base Camp clothing packing guide. So this will just be kind of what I am taking to Everest Base Camp um, for my clothing. And I'm gonna do a separate video of all like the gear and supplies I'm going to take as well. What I have got in front of me here is based on the list our trekking company gave us and other lists I found online. So everyone, what they're taking will be a little bit different. Um, so these are the essentials. We're going in October, so it's not going to be too cold yet, hopefully, um, but not too hot. So I've brought lots of things for layering. Um, I hear during the treks you could like start off really cold in your down jacket and then end up really hot at the end of the day. One thing about buying your supplies is you can buy a lot of the stuff in Kathmandu for pretty cheap, obviously knockoff brands. And I thought about doing that, but I've known I've been going on this trek for almost a year, so I've been buying these pieces slowly over the year. I've asked for some for Christmas presents and birthday presents, and I've made sure to shop the sales because I knew I had like a long time. So every time there was a big sale somewhere, I would buy like one piece. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my outfit that I'm going to wear on the plane there and back. And this outfit I'm actually not going to be taking on the trail with me. I'm going to leave it locked in my suitcase, which stays in Kathmandu. It's just so like it stays clean, then I have a clean outfit to wear on the plane ride back. And it's kind of like bulky and just comfy clothes, but I'm not getting to trek with them. So this sweater I got from Lavina Rose. And it's just this really comfy but light long sleeve turtleneck sweater. And I'm going to wear that with a pair of Sweet Leg leggings. So Sweet Legs, I think it might be just a Canadian brand, but they've got little mountains on them. They're called, they're called like Alpine. And I always, always, always on the plane bring my Infinity scarf. It's just this giant scarf. And I love to travel with it because it can, you can wrap it around you and keep warm, or you can use it like as a pillow on the side of the plane. And you can also spread it out if you want to use it for like an extra blanket. The rest of the stuff I'm going to start with layering up. So I'll start with my underwear. I'm going to bring a three or four pairs of just basic underwear. These ones are merino wool. I only have one pair. They're icebreakers because they're like $50, $30, $50 each. Um, the rest I don't have with me now. So if you don't want to wear cotton, I want to wear something that you could wash and will maybe dry overnight. I'm going to bring two sports bras. One of them is... Ace Baker brand, so completely merino wool, which is soft, doesn't hold odor, odor um, great for trekking, but again, really expensive, so I just have one. And the other one is just like a basic champion brand from Amazon, so. Next we'll do our base layers. So these are things I'm going to wear underneath my clothes when I'm like really high altitude, so maybe hiking Kalapatar or the Everest Base Camp day and possibly sleeping in them if it gets really cold. It's from Eddie Bauer and it's there called First Ascent Line and it's just a plain black base layer and it's half merino wool. I wanted to get the full merino wool ones from Icebreakers but again they were quite a bit more expensive so I went with these. Also got their pants. So they're a merino wool hybrid free dry bottoms. Um, they're good for just keeping warm and layering up over top of. I'm bringing four t-shirts. Two of them are Icebreaker Marina Wool, which I got as gifts. So they're just basic t-shirts and they don't hold order. You can wear them again and again and again, which is really nice. And they're really soft and comfortable. It has a mountain on it. The other t-shirts I'm bringing I got from Eddie Bauer and they're like the quick dry fabric. I bought this one because I saw a picture of Mandy Moore when she went to a first base camp and she was wearing this exact shirt from Eddie Bauer. So I had to have it. And I bought it and I did love it. I wear it all the time for exercising. It's super soft, doesn't get sweaty, like just wicks it away. So then they had another really big sale and I got the same one, but in blue. And I'm going to bring this one long sleeve shirt. It's still pretty light. This is just some random kind of exercise top from Walmart. But I've had it for a couple of years and it works well, so on a colder day I might wear this one. For pants, I'm wearing three pairs of pants. So these are from Eddie Bauer as well. I really like these ones because they're a sturdy fabric for hiking. 
and they've got pockets with zippers, which is like amazing in exercise clothes. And I got the high rise ones because I like how they look. The long pair, so this will go down to my ankle. And I also have for hiking at the lower altitude, I have a pair of capris in the exact same style because I really like them. And I got the tall, what I really like, why I bought a lot of my clothes at Eddie Bauer is they always have the option to buy it in tall, which is really nice because I'm like 5'10". And these are just like basic trekking pants. Um, they're called like their joggers. So what I like about these is they're a bit bigger and they have pockets and I could easily, if it's getting cold or a little bit drizzly, I could throw them over these pants or my base layer pants. And another great thing about them is they have a tie at the bottom. So I can like hike them up to make them capris or pull them down to make them longer. And they're a little bit water repellent. They're not like fully water repellent. Which brings me to my next item, and it's something I'm not sure if I'm going to bring. It's recommended a lot. So these are a pair of Gore-Tex pants. And these are completely waterproof, and they are um, meant to go over top of your regular pants. And I'm not sure if I'm going to bring them, because like, they probably would be a good idea. But they're kind of bulky. So I don't think about if I should bring them. They do fold up decently small, but they are still another item. And I want to pack as lightly as possible. What I've got here is I want an outfit um, to change into when I get to the tea houses every night that I don't check in so it can kind of feel like a clean set of clothes. So I bought as a present for myself when I graduated school, I bought two icebreaker pieces, lounge pants, and they're completely 100% rain of wool and they're really soft. And I'll probably sleep in these two, I'm not wearing like separate pajamas. This is also an icebreaker sweater and I thought this would be perfect to sit around the Yaku fire in and throw over um, one of my t-shirts. I'll probably reserve one of my icebreaker t-shirts just to like be my clean one that I like sleep in, so probably this one because it matches. Or kind of like accessories, I have just this black headband that I can wear and keep the sweat out of my eyes. I'm gonna write sunglasses. I think I'm gonna get a pair that are UV protected. I'm not sure if these are. I just have them there. For hats, I'm gonna bring two. I'm gonna bring this baseball cap. And then I'm gonna bring a toque. And I wanted to get a toque that kind of represented Canada, so this one is from the Bay. I think it's really cute and it should keep me warm on my cold days. And I have two buffs. This one I got for like 50 cents in the clearance bin. And it's fleece, it looks very Canadian. So this I'll wear at the colder altitudes. And then my mom got me as a present an actual buff brand buff. So these are gonna be really good when we're trekking because I hear the trail's really dusty. The yaks, as they walk, put up a lot of dust and then it might smell a little bad. So you can put this over top of your nose um, when it gets dusty or windy. And you could also put a hairband to keep your hair out of your eyes. So for socks, I love smart wool socks or merino wool socks, so um, Costco sells merino wool socks, which I got a couple pairs that I'm going to trek in, and I'm going to keep one, a pair of kind of like their extra cozy thermal ones to wear at the lodge every night and keep them clean. So for my jackets, I have three. So this will be one if I need like a layer over top of my t-shirts as I'm trekking to keep warm. It's just a... This is the Columbia brand fleece. And then I'm also going to bring my rain jacket. Um, so <laughs> this rain jacket, and it's supposed to be able to hold up small enough in its own pocket. And I haven't figured out how to do that yet, um, but I <laughs> hopefully will. It is very lightweight. It's, and I got a breathable one. I'm gonna practice folding that so it can fold up really small. And you definitely want to bring like a weather repellent shell like this. And another thing I got is my down jacket. I wanted to get a down jacket and this one does fold up really small so it can stay in my day pack till I need it. And I think I've heard a lot of time from the research I've done that people just um, like will wear this around the lodge at the end of the day too because it's really cool. My tour company, which we're going with, which is Amigo Tracking, does provide them if you wish. But that's a good option if you really want to budget the trip. I wanted to get one with a hood in case it starts to snow. <laughs> For the shoes I'm bringing, my most important ones are the trekking boots. And I had a really good pair of trekking boots, but they didn't have ankle support. So 
I got these a couple months ago and they're actually called the Lucla, the Lucla boot and they're from Eddie Bauer. Why did you buy them? Oh, because I saw a picture of Mandy Moore going to Everest Space Camp and she was wearing these shoes. So I thought if Mandy Moore wears these shoes, I can wear these shoes. Um, but they're actually really good. They're waterproof. I love that they're purple. Um, they've got a great grip and so far so good. So these are what I'll be mainly trekking in. Brought my just running shoes, old trusties, and I'll wear these around the lodge once we get um, to whatever place we're staying for the night. Things I'm undecided about. I've heard that like, you want a pair of like slip-on shoes. So I've got these flip-flops and maybe like I have to go to the washroom in the middle of the night or if I take a shower, it'd be good to have these to wear. But I honestly don't think I'm going to be showering on the track because the water will be way too cold. I don't know. And I'd prefer to bring like for just being around the lodge. I would like to bring these Crocs, but there's a couple problems with the Crocs. For one, they're like absolutely hideous. And also like they're really bulky, so I'm going to probably leave these behind. So of course I forgot to include something in the main video. And that is gloves. Here, the ones I'm going to be bringing are just a pair of regular black gloves. And then to go over them, um, a pair of heavy duty, waterproof ski gloves. So this is everything I'm bringing clothing wise. I will definitely do a video when I get back and let you know if there's something drastic I forgot or something that I didn't use at all or what I absolutely could not live without because I actually have no idea. It could be like having way too much stuff or way too much stuff. And I might change this too before I go. I've got to keep myself working. I made this um, color coded packing list online and I separated it into like footwear, headwear, upper body, lower body. So I will be putting some of my stuff in a day pack and the rest of the stuff gets put in a duffel bag that the porters carry on our truck. Um, so I need to make sure I weigh everything that I want to put in the duffel bag and it's too much stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if there is something you think I'm missing because I'd really like to know this the trip or if there's something like you took on the trip that you can live without. Or just your thoughts. Um, I'm going to be making a gear list as well um, very soon. And maybe I can wrap my dad into making what he's wearing um, as far as like his clothing. So I'm just like a different for a guy. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you subscribe, I will be uploading our entire trek to Everest Base Camp sometime at the end of October when we return. Hopefully, we will return. I um, moved the table slightly forward. <laughs> to film this video and then I banged my head like three times when getting up on this lamp. Before, when we first moved in, before we uh, put the table in or anything, I think all of us banged our heads like eight times.